Parents Home Training Reflex Therapy Course for Autism, Asperger and Sensitive Problems. Do you have a child with autism, Asperger or sensitive problems? Here you will have a fantastic tool to help your child and of course your entire family. By helping your child to good and easy life condition every day. Also bringing the rest of your family into balance, harmony and happiness. Then you are in the right place. During this course you will learn very useful tools to help your child. A totally natural method free from use of toxic medicine. A method you can apply at home using about 30 minutes, 6 to 4 times a week in the beginning and some week later 3 to 4 times a week, finishing with only one stimulation once a week during a period for 3 to 12 months, depending of course of the grade and state of each of, of the children. Reflex therapy is a very non-aggressive, soft and not painful method. As you are parents of a child classified with a grade of autism or sensitivity dysfunctions, hypersensitivity or hyposensitivity, or a mix of both maybe, too much or a lack of sensitivity, you might experience different troubles related to dairy function of your child, such as eating problem, very often expressed as piggy eating, means when a child only accepts to eat one or few specific foods, could be pasta of a special structure or some crispy food, any food could be preference, and all other food absolutely refused. The same with liquid, it could also be troubles with clothes. Your child may be only accept one kind of material. It could maybe be cotton. And maybe your child is sensitive to textures of material. Many children do not feel comfortable with the seam of the clothes or with the brand washing instructions in the neck of the pullover and back on the underside of the pants. Also, Many children cannot cope with socks. Some parents already found out that using the socks and the clothes opposite, it's changed the dairy war about clothing. Also, the color of the clothes can have an influence in some children's feeling comfortable or not. Some children can feel very disturbed of some specific colors. Colors of the surrounding can disturb the function of a child. Means that even the colors of the wall or carpet in a room could disturb. But also in the nature, for instance blue or green, if this is color disturbing, a child could refuse to be on the beach or in the park. The colors of a classroom can also make troubles or any other room, colors can disturb because of this specific color. Some children also have difficulties to walk on sand or uh, on the grass. But it could also be wood floor, in some cases a carpet or any other kind of floor. Also questions as touch on the body could be water, soap, shampoo, cream, hot or cold water. Maybe this is a big question causing many daily conflicts, as brushing the teeth, cutting nails, to not talk about cutting the hair, or just as simple things as brushing the hair. God, what a fight it is every day for some. I'm sure that some of you also notice that light has an effect on children. Means light from a lamp or chains of light. If the light is too strong, if the light is too weak or blinking lights, 
Sounds is another question. Many children suffer sensibility of certain sounds. High sounds, sharp sounds, ringing, etc. Also, many voices at the same time. For instance, meeting between people or many children playing in a schoolyard. Smell can be another difficult question. Smell of any kind can disturb. Sleeping questions. I'm so sure that some of you are dealing with sleeping wars. It's like your child never gets tired by night. Some children only as accept to sleep in sleeping bags. Like only feeling safe and calm with the sleeping bag surrounding the body. As is the same feeling as in the utero of the mother. Also a problem with evaluating the weight of a subject. Could also be difficult the conscient about the limit of the body size. All these questions and many more questions can vary it from child to child. But one question these children has in common is the lack of social skills. Of course also different grades and difficulties. This is very much about the eye contact. It is about when a child is like in and out. About social relationship, the school, family, parties, the club. Also, dysfunctions such as behavior, organization, collecting things, IQ, emotion, and repetition. Do not talk about all the issues following the situation as learning troubles, missing concentration and memory, speech dysfunction, as troubles with sounds and construction of sentence, or understanding of the written text or understanding of the spoken language. Difficulties with mathematic skills recognizing faces, objects or subjects, dyslexia of different kinds, as well as visual and hearing problems. And much more of same kinds, very often combined with different grades of autism. Every child difficulties, just so different. That is why each of the children need an individual constructed stimulation plan. First of all, I would like to give you a very simple explanation of the brain's function. My aim is to explain how the brain works to give you, parents, an idea about where and why your children have some dysfunctions. Myself, I did struggling many years with my own son. It's now more than 30 years ago. And of course, many things have changed. For instance, today we have internet to help us with a huge amount of information. But still, I meet many parents with no idea why and what to do. And it's very common that medical doctors or other professionals do not explain anything. They also only give medication and it is not good in long term and absolutely all medication is a toxic 
for the body and the brain. Medicine gives no or poor results and even more troubles with the health as all medication have side effects such as allergy, digestive problem, hormonal dysfunctions and even in some cases more brain dysfunctions. After I got my own son for 33 years ago, my second child, I was already a professional therapist, but I did change a lot my attention into children's health and needs after. I did many courses and special education about brain issues. This question helped me to understand what was wrong with my son suffering of epilepsy, autistic spectrum and sensitivity dysfunctions. Having this knowledge, it was so much easier for me to help my son and I am proud to say today that he have a normal life. But stuttering, I also discovered that my own brother in this moment, 22 years old, was born with Asperger syndrome. My brother, he was born in 1960. Asperger was not even mentioned in any medical book at this time. My brother was 49 years old when he for first time in his life got a medical diagnosis Asperger in Denmark. I learned very much about Asperger having a brother suffering this syndrome. Learning by life experience is a very effective way to learn. Maybe it sounds strange, but my son's illness gave me and himself lessons about all this for a long time. This is lessons. I did use during many years to help other children and parents in the world. It's different with my brother. I did wish many times during the last many years that I did know what I know today long time before. My brother, he got no help when he was a child and during teens and his first years as a young man. When he turned 35, he went into a state with so many emotional and mental problems that he became ill for a lifetime. And I assure you, now he is 57 and he got so many drugs since he was 35 and he never ever got any benefit from all these drugs. He only became worse and worse. He never went back to work. He never got a quality word to live. He never got an emotional life. That is why it is so extremely important to help a child with problems as early as possible in life and as much as possible.